In this video I'm going to show you how you can calculate the net present value of an investment using your TI Business Analyst 2 Plus calculator. This is not difficult to do and this calculator is quite a clever way of doing it. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to invest $100, we're going to use a 10% discount rate and we're going to have the following cash flows, $20, $20 and then $90. First thing we have to do is clear the cash flows. So we go cash flow, you see I've already got this example in here, we need to clear that. So we go second function and then the clear work. Second function and clear work right down at the bottom left hand corner and that's that cleared. Then we enter the cash flows, so this is cash flow zero, which is um, our investment, so cash is going away from us, cash flow convention makes that negative. Then we do the plus minus to make it negative, don't use this negative key, use the plus minus, so you switch the sign, press it again, it becomes positive, press it again, it's negative. Um, just showing you that, make sure it's negative, switch the sign with that key. Then we just enter this, so we've got the cash flow zero in here, enter, that's now in memory then we go down to the next cash flow. We've got $20, we've got this twice, so we have to put the frequency to two. So we enter $20, then press enter, then go down. This is the frequency of cash flow one, which is two. Press enter, and that's us entered these two $20. So let's move down once more. The next cash flow is $90, so 90, enter, and then down the frequency is automatically set as one, we'll just leave that alone. So now we can start doing the calculation of net present value. The calculator now has all of the cash flows saved in its memories. So we just press this NPV button on the second row down and that asks us for an interest rate I, which is gonna be 10. Then we press enter. And then if we go down, it's got net present value equals. And if we press this CPT button, we get 233, so that's computed it, and that is the correct answer. So there's how you do net present value. Basically, clear the workbook, cash flow, the CF key puts you into the mode, ensure it's cleared, enter your cash flows, then net present value, enter, enter the interest rate, and then press compute um, on the net present value screen. And so that's all you need to know. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and you can follow this quite easily. And finally, thank you for watching.